Hello there. My name is Wendelin Davis. I'm so passionate about healthy habits for a healthy life. So here's some ideas of what you can do for trips and going out of town. Okay. First and most important plan, right? I'm learning if I don't have a map for each day, I chase way too many squirrels and then I'm in a state of urgency and then I'm stressed, the cortisol's up and I'm not going to sleep good. I'm tired of that life and I'm like, nope, this year is my best ever for planning because I'm learning to check in every single night. So I have my ongoing list. Uh, this one's just a scratch piece of paper. It's smaller because I'm only here for three days. And then like I said, we're out of town for four. So I look at my list every single night and then I go to my hourly schedule and what is it that I need to do? And especially with packing, I am not waiting until the last minute to do that. No more. Yeah, I've done better about this the last time and each trip gets better and better. So yesterday I like cut the carrots and the, and the celery and got those ready because well, these will go in the car. We're 12 hours in the car tomorrow. We're only there two days. We're going to Utah and then 12 more hours in the car coming home. Plus a little bit of traveling while we're there. And this will last. I mean, there's four of us going. Maybe some of the other people in the car will eat some of these. Maybe. Um, so those are ready. Yay. And I have my chicken cooked from a couple nights ago. So I am totally taking this with me to eat in the car tomorrow and have a leftover piece for the next day if I need it. And just, just the preparation. So that's what I did yesterday. And today, like I'm finishing the rest of it and getting the clothes ready. Um, the laundry's done. The dogs, we're going to take care of them tonight for who's coming over to learn what I need them to do and all that stuff. So this is invaluable, right? I know exactly what I'm doing today. And yay, yay for planning. It's like you don't have time not to plan. It gives you direction and totally minimizes the brain drama, keeps the stress down, which is what we're going for. So here's some more fun things that I'm taking with. I always take protein powder, debating whether or not to take this, which is easy, right? You just put it in and turn it on. Uh, it's already charged, so it's good. Or this one has a shaker in it. The advantage to this, if I need to make something ahead of time, it's going to stay cold longer. It's not going to stay cold in this probably going to take this one. So the protein powder already measured, ready to go. Speaking of protein, protein bars, ready, ready to go. And I have extra, which is fine because I'd rather have extra than not enough. So my husband laughs that half of the stuff I take, some of it I bring home. I'm like, so what? So it's okay. It just gives me that feeling of peace that I need, of being prepared that I always have something if I need it. Okay. So just more vegetables. Cause you know, I love my vegetables and the fruit of course, and more protein with people in the car will like these and my almonds and the beef sticks and there's lots of varieties. There's turkey sticks as well. The apple, the, I'm going to wash the strawberries still and just put those in a bag. I don't love using baggies, but it works for a trip, right? And then we do have chickens. And so just to hard boil some eggs. So we'll have that in the car for protein. So we don't um, like to stop other than gas and restroom. So we can go, go, go. Husband will make a sandwich tonight for him and um, teenager and her boyfriend they're in charge of their own stuff, right? Yeah. So there we have it. Lots of, lots of fun things. Oh yeah. Here's some crackers. I think uh, my husband bought those. And so I got some more almond crackers and there's hummus in the fridge, which is fun with the carrots and the crackers. More snap peas. These are so good. Just easy, right? So then we just have the cooler bag to put some ice in and probably another cooler, the smaller one for um, the sandwiches and whatnot. We'll get the water in those containers. And here's a gallon I'll put in the car just to have. And we're set. Yay. 
Yay. So here's the food. Yay. So then when I'm done with work, I'm going to like finish packing the clothes. And like I said, do the dog and whatnot. So also these are so good. They're so much fun. So much like hundred percent better than soda. And these are really good. These ones have caffeine. So my husband will drive the whole way. So maybe instead of the soda, Dr. Pepper or Coke, maybe he'll take one of these for a little bit of caffeine if you need it. So we'll see. All righty, my friends. Yay. Eating healthy doesn't have to be hard and it tastes good and it's enjoyable and it feels so good for the body. So what I do today affects my tomorrow. And it's worth it to invest the time to do this. And I promise you crowd off the bad by just changing one or two things in your routine for the healthier version. And pretty soon your body will be craving that. And of course, you know, I have my chocolate and, you know, for my two pieces or three and where I'm going in Utah, I know exactly where Trader Joe's is and it's not far from where we're staying. So I can definitely get more. And then like when we get there, then we will go to the store or I will go to the store and get a few more food items um, so I can have what I need. And, and of course, we'll enjoy eating out. And in Utah, they have my favorite soft serve ice cream at a grocery store called Macy's. And even though there's going to be snow there, um, well, it's okay to visit. I don't have to come home to it. So that's what's good. Um, I'm totally getting my ice cream with my nieces and nephew, nephews. So we're just gonna enjoy the journey. And yay, every day is so good when we focus on the good and we focus on what we can do, not what we can't do. Okay, we're a work in progress and we're worth it. All right, my friends, you got this, bye.